So they have these new Bitmojis on Snapchat. And um, I had mine wear a bandana. And I'm like, I used to wear bandanas all the time. Why don't I do that anymore? So here's my half-assed attempt to wear a bandana. So I follow um, Impact, Theory, Impact Theory on my email. And he sent an email today that was an aha moment for me. And I really, I'm, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Don't worry. <laughs> but you should definitely subscribe to him. I know that getting junk email is very frustrating. It's very frustrating. But I try to um to not subscribe to things I know that's going to fill up my inbox. I'm never going to look at. So um, the title was Fuck Patience, which... I am not a very patient person at all. I want things to happen today, tomorrow, right away, you know? And um, with this particular opportunity that I had slash have, um, I kept telling myself, it's got to be patient. It's got to be patient. It's going to come. My time's going to come. And now that I'm almost there, I'm doubting how bad did I want it in the first place. I feel like I'm being very vague right now. But just listen to this line. I'm going to read from my laptop. Have you guys met Virus? His name is Virus. <laughs> um, patience is a thing that's stopping you from getting what you want. Another one of my favorite lines. Good enough is good enough for you when you should be demanding excellence. Okay. So let me break that down to what it meant to me. Okay. So... My whole thing is I want to be daring greatly every day of my life, every moment, every second of my life. I want to be daring greatly, boldly, absurdly. So and another thing, when I took this last job, I told myself my next job is going to be doing something that I love, doing something that is going to help me be fulfilled, which is an, a, a word that I hate the word fulfillment because it it kind of gives like a it gives a religious connotation to it and it also feels like that's it there's nothing else to strive for but that's a conversation for another day or I guess I just said it um so you can be patient but you should always be demanding excellence from everything that you ask for you know what your worth is or at least I hope that you do you know what your worth is. You know what you're capable of. Me, as a worker, I know what I'm capable of. I know I'm a hard-ass fucking worker. I give 100% with everything that I do. And if you don't acknowledge that, then, then boo on you. Like, you're missing out on a great employee. Kind of. I'm not really good at working with other people, which I need to get better at. But I'm talking with my brush now. But I find that... I'm not good at you telling me what to do because I know what's right. I feel like I know what's right. Which kind of ruins things for me. And then I was watching TD, watching, listening to TD Jake while I was getting dressed. And he was talking about how, okay, so I applied to two things today. And, um, I kept saying you should be like getting dressed, you should be getting dressed, you should be getting dressed. Even though I woke up early, like it was taking me a lot more time to, to this, do this application. And we got down to the bio part. I hate talking about myself. I hate trying to explain myself because I don't know. Um, I'm a fucking mess and I need a fucking job, you know? <laughs> like, um... So, I wrote down, I'm a motivation addict. And then, an hour later, as I'm listening to this T.D. Jakes video, he was talking about how you take prescription pills to uh, alleviate the pain. But then some people continue to take the pill even when the pain's not there. So immediately my first thought was, are we addicted to pain? Are we addicted to ruin? And then my then he said, 
you're taking the pill because you still feel like you're broken. And that was like a like an aha moment for me because I always say every morning, if I don't listen to my motivational videos, like my day is shit. If I don't listen to at least one video, my day is like, like I'll still keep going, but it just feels a little off. And then I was thinking, am I listening to these videos because I feel like there's a part of me that's broken and is helping piece me back together? Am I literally addicted to motivation as if I'm smoking, I don't know what people are addicted to, meth or something. And then I, I stood in the shower for a little bit and I thought to myself, you're not broken. You don't need this. It's just a vitamin. You know how when you take vitamins, uh, you take a vitamin B for energy. You, uh, I don't know. I, I only take vitamin B. But um, <laughs> you take these vitamins in order to give you energy, in order to enrich you, in order to bring up that higher elevated self of yourself, if that sentence made sense. But the, the thing that's going to sustain you is your action, you working out, you taking what the videos are saying and use them in your everyday life. So don't, I need to like get this to an end because I need to go catch the bus, but don't take these, these motivational videos, these little snippets as, as like a drug. Like you like, it's like, it's going to give you that high that you need to get, get look, to look forward to your day. You should look forward to every day, period, point blank. Cool. Use these videos as your vitamin to give you that extra boost. And then use what that video is saying to to uh to push you towards your goals, okay? To shove you towards doing whatever action that you need, okay? I hope that made sense. Sorry, that was a huge jumbled mess, but now I really want to go back and like edit my bio because I don't know. Attic sounds like like it's in like a like a bad thing. I don't think this is a bad thing. I think this is quite healthy for me. No? You know what's not healthy? Missing the bus. Smile and <laughs> don't miss your bus.